Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. Now the pleasure to be joined by the English heavyweight champion Solomon Dakers. Sol, how are you, Magnificent Seven, fighting on Saturday, mate? I'm good, man. I'm relaxed. You know, the training hard work's done. I'm here in my hometown, man. I'm feeling good. Definitely as well. I mean, how, how does it feel, first of all, to be, I mean, back fighting in Birmingham? It must be an, a nicer feeling than when you're boxing all, all around the country. Yeah, you know, it's a nice relief that you haven't got to you know, travel too far. You've got a few more home comforts. Um, you know, not saying you've got to stay comfortable, but, you know, you've got your own bed and stuff like that. Your own kitchen to, you know, you've got your food on demand. You're looking for healthy takeaways, what's around, looking around, you know, you just, you just where you know. Definitely, mate, as well. Michael Webster, obviously, rematch on the for the Magnificent Seven back on your Queensbury debut as well. Obviously, you fought him before. Obviously, rematches, a lot of people say that they go the same way. You're hoping for that on Saturday night. Yeah, same way, but in a much, much better fashion. Um, the last one was not a good performance from myself. It was a late notice thing. I weren't in good shape. Now I'm in good shape. And, um, you know, I'm just focused on putting a really dominant performance. Definitely. Are you kind of going into the mindset of kind of this is your Queensbury debut? That, that, that fight's kind of in the past, but this is your Queensbury debut? This is where I'm really going to, you know, show right. Sol Day because he's, you know, top, top quality operator in there. That's what I'm going to show. Definitely as well. Obviously, it wasn't meant to be the rematch with Michael Webster. We were expecting, um, I mean, I think you could have had a trilogy with David Adelaide by now. But, I mean, frustrate, frustrating not to have a fight with David Adelaide, which as a fan talking now, it was a great fight on paper between you two. Yeah, it is, man. Like I said, I've been all year waiting for this um, this fight. We've had multiple dates, multiple press conferences. I've turned up to them all. Never seen him once, you know, so... The fight did they really want it? You know, the signs weren't really weren't really there to be honest. I thought he was gonna take this fight properly. Definitely. Does it does that kind of obviously you touched on it at the press conference, does that does that say a lot about whether we'll see the fight in the future? I think I think if he was gonna see the fight, he would have got in that ring and we would have been having the fight by now. Because everything was there to have the fight, so there's no other reason. That injury like the week before, after six months and two dates, it's a bit dubious, you know what I mean? Definitely as well. I mean, with a, with a win on Saturday night, Sol, obviously I feel like obviously you've had the English title for a while for a while now. Obviously, with a win on Saturday, do you is it, is the British title that you want you want next? That's that's what I want next because that's what I'm you know I'm English title. You want to go British title next, and, and you know I'm in the game to achieve things and, and win bouts and British title further on and become a world champion. So of course that has got to be my next goal. Definitely, kind of obviously highly anticipated that I think Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark are rematching for that belt. I mean. Who do you think wins that fight? Mainly because who do you think you'll be fighting for that title? <laughs> yeah, it is a close fight last one. So um, I feel like Fraser was, you know, early on a better boxer, and I feel like he's going to make a few adjustments to, to sort of maintain his early boxing skills. You know, he got a knockdown and a, and a point deduction. So I think he's thinking there's two points is there, two points there that I can, you know, get back on my favour, and he'll, he'll probably feel like he can make a few adjustments to edge it. Definitely. I mean, I mean, what would it mean to you to go? Obviously, you've got that English now. You want, you want to get that British. I mean, what would it mean to you to pick up that prestigious British, uh, British title, mate? It's a great title, isn't it? And every boxer in Britain, you know, becoming a British champion is a big, big proud moment for them. So it's going to be the same for me to pick up that and, and kick on forward from there and show you know, I'm a British champion. I want to become a world champion and you know get the belief behind me and stuff like that. It'd be a great moment. Definitely as well. Obviously, two very good boxers there, Fabio Wally and Fraser Clark. But I feel like people know that you're you're a very good boxer yourself. So do you think you're a superior boxer to those two? Yeah, I believe I believe so. I believe a championship um, fight, twelve rounds, that that will give me the time to show the level that I'm at, you know, and, and show that you know I beat these guys. Definitely, there's some excellent fights to be made in the heavyweight division. So, I mean, I know you've done a lot of media today, so I'll make this my final question, mate. Uh, we ask everyone who comes on the channel this: when all said and done, what does boxing mean to you? Boxing is just life, isn't it? It's just every, it's everything, isn't it? Boxing is my life, and it's a means to improving my life. That's why a lot of fighters, you know, come from certain backgrounds, and boxing is their means to providing a better life for themselves. Definitely. Thank you very much for that, Sol. I'm the real deal. Looking forward to see you back out. Cheers, mate. Thank you for that, mate.